So I've got the Acer Aspire V5 in use today. As you can see, backlit keyboard. But we've got it in extended screen mode with a uh, 1080p monitor, actually quite a big one there. A couple of things I want to show you. Firstly, if you're thinking about using a touchscreen device in front of a monitor like this, think about stacked screen mode like this. The reason is you retain the use of your touchscreen. So when you have it maybe mounted on the side like this with a USB uh, keyboard, you kind of lose the ability to, to use the touchscreen. And for certain things, that touchscreen is pretty useful, especially things like, you know, image share, um, you don't have to move the hand too far to be able to share an image uh, through another app. Second thing is here, uh, notice that I'm using a display port. Let me just get that in focus. The connector on the side is an AMD lightning bolt uh, connector, not branded lightning bolt on here. It's kind of branded the Acer extended port or something, but it's a mini DP uh, port with, mini D with DP uh, electrics in it. Uh, DP signals, so you can just connect a mini DP 1.2 to a display port monitor, no problem. But this also has USB 3 coming out of it as well. So with the right connectors, the right uh, docking ports uh, or adapter cables, you can actually get USB breakout on this. So uh, already you've got your um, um, port, display port, plus your sound coming out of there. But if you were to get a proper uh, USB 3 uh, connector you'd have a whole docking port uh, capability there of course you can have to put your power in as well so it's a two cable solution but uh, certainly for giggy over usb for your keyboard your mouse uh, yeah, additional audio port uh, even additional screens through display port uh, through um, display uh, display link that's quite an interesting port and i think actually probably one of the better implementation of a sort of combi port for the consumer market uh, there is right now. So anyway, there you are, Acer Aspire V5. If you're using it, if you're using a touch screen, make sure you try and get the stacked mode there. And note on the V5, it's DisplayPort capable. Thanks for watching. There's gonna be more on the V5 on Ultrabook News, trying to get the review done for you as soon as possible. Stay tuned.